Hey guys, um, how's it going? Just want to give an update here on my uh, Robin Hood portfolio for the uh, day. Um, we had a lot going on today. Before I get started though, um, if, the, if you're uh, just seeing the phone screen and it's like half size or a quarter size, just hit full screen and it should, it should fill up a full tablet screen or a full phone screen. And so um, uh, that's what it does on my phone anyways. Hopefully that helps you at all. We're not looking at a tiny little screen. But um, so a lot happened here. Um, obviously, it was a very good green day, as you can see in my uh, portfolio. It's up. Uh, it says it's up eight percent, roughly a little bit eight and a half. It's not quite up that much. Um, I had a stock um, that um, that um, sorry, where's it at here? I had a stock that um, reverse split and reverse split five to one. It kind of is messing my numbers up there. And so, and um, AMLP is what the stock was. Um, let's see if I can. Actually, I sold out of it because most times I see a reverse split stock, it usually drops. And so, once I saw that it was doing that, um, it was up today. Um, I was up on this stock, as you can see. My, my, um, I sold out today. 40 shares, so I had 200 shares of reverse split. 2571 um, and so I sold out today and I um, picked up some other uh, some other positions instead another position instead and uh, and uh, I made some money off that and uh, just moved on from it I didn't really want to spend twenty four hundred dollars on a full position so I uh, moved on from there and so, um, so let's just kind of quickly look at what what I did today uh, Obviously, Pfizer's up some. Ulterior Group up. up. Um, let's pull it up. So let's start with Pfizer. Pfizer was um, up 34 cents, 31 cents, and 3 cents after hours. Ulterior Group is up a buck, 01, and then 3 cents after hours. Um, Dow was up a huge amount. I own this both. I a position in both my Robin Hood and my Charles Schwab. It was up um, almost 10% and been down 16 cents after hours. And the, thank goodness I don't have a covered call on this because that would be in a world of hurt. Uh, it's some common sense. Not a lot. I have other covered cover calls I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to get out of. Um, MetLife. This was up. This is insurance stocks down quite a bit. People were overreacting, thinking everybody's going to die off and MetLife's going to go broke. Um, but it, it was up um, 5% and then 13% um, after hours. AT&T had a nice recovery today. It was up 4%. I don't have a covered call on that. Thank goodness. Main Street Capital, man, this stock's been running. It was up 7% today. I have 100 shares at 24.06 is my is my cost on this. Um, I plan on holding this and just collecting that... that um, that it's going to be around a 10% dividend on my 2406 of my dollar for dollar cash money when I put into this. It's going to pay roughly $20 a, uh, hopefully continues to that, but it pays $20 a month, which is $240 a year on my uh, $2,400 investment, which is a 10% dividend. I'll take that all day long. Um, AIG, I have a covered call on this, I believe at $26. So, Waiting to see if we get a pullback on this. It's not due until uh, mid June, I believe. So um, I also own this. It's not covered in my uh, in my uh, Charles Schwab account. So I had a good day as well. And just a little concerned. Very good day. 0.7 and a half. A little concerned with uh, we'll get my $26 covered call and how I'm gonna rotate out of that. Uh, BP, another huge day. Another stock, huge day. These dividend stocks really recovered today. At least somewhat. I mean, from where we were at. So that's kind of reason why I went to all these beat down dividend stocks that are going to pay me, you know, eight, nine, six percent on my dollar to dollar investment for years. And I plan on holding BP a long time. I think it's going to recover. It's paying its dividend. I paid twenty four thirty seven for it. So I'm still down on it a little bit. It dropped after that after I bought it, but. Um, you can see the dividends almost 10%, I believe. 
Viacom CBS. I own three or four hundred shares of this. It's not covered, thank goodness. And another great day. 10% and then 14 cents up after hours. And uh, 1660 is my uh, is my average cost on these 200 shares. EPD, I did sell a cover call on this today. Uh, you know, the stock hasn't moved hardly at all um, in the last month. It's kind of just kind of going up here, trailing. So I thought I'd get away with a weekly covered call. And it's at $18. We'll see if it gets a pullback. If not, I can roll that over to next week. Worst case scenario. HP. So this is a new uh, position for me. So I took some of my, uh, took used some of that cash I got out selling uh, my uh, AMLP. And, I, and then I uh, scratched down some other stocks I, I own like six or eight shares of. I was able to put together a position on this. This stock ran today and I paid probably wish I would have got it earlier because it was around fifteen dollars but I have it it's a weekly um, a weekly cover call option stock which is right at my right at my alley it's a dividend stock you can see 4.74 Robin Hood says and so I own 100 shares of it and I plan on holding this and collecting dividends and running cover calls on this for a long time keep it out of the money ET oh boy so I wrote a cover call on 1,000 shares of ET. I own 1,700 shares of ET in my two um, platforms. Um, 1,200 here, and then 500 in my uh, Charles Schwab. An amazing day. But the problem is I sold the $8 cover call for Friday, and I'm really hoping it doesn't get hit. But um, this also has a huge dividend uh, due tomorrow, which is around 30 cents a share. And so... Um, you can see I'm still down on the stock. I mean, that's why I bought so many shares. I just kept trying to lower my cost on ET. And so hopefully um, I'll find a way out of this covered call. And hopefully maybe we can get through the week without uh, getting up to the $8 mark. But it's been running all day. And you can see right there it's up 8 and a half, And then up an additional 3 cents after hours. PSEC, no change on that for me today. It, went, it was up uh, 10 cents overall. Um, and so I'm just going to hold that for now. I might roll, roll out a few seconds to AG and C in the future. Another uh, questionable stock, but it, it has weekly options on it. And, um, and then the dividends are very similar. Uh, Kinder Morgan, this is a um, new position for me, actually a new stock for me. I've been eyeing this stock and um, HPQ. And I, own just, I bought one share just to kind of... Uh, just to kind of uh, keep track of it, and I'm probably going to try to move into a full position on this here in the, um, the next few weeks. AGNC, I bought one position of AG, one stock of AGNC, and um, this is another um, stock I'm looking to get a full position on, to like weekly covered calls on. And so, First Horizon National, I own like seven or eight shares of this. I sold out of the other size, I just kept one share. And then Upro, oh boy. So Upro, of course, like I said, this stock just can fly. And it can go up and down both directions. And and um, I bought it at 34.86. I wrote a cover call on Friday. Remember I always talked about don't write your cover calls until Monday, Tuesday. Get to feel what's going on over the weekend. Oh yeah. So my genius, I wrote a $38 cover call on Friday. So we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll get a pullback. I can always roll it over for another week or so, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. But today was a great day for Upro, and um, now I just need to figure out how I'm going to. This stock might move drop three dollars tomorrow, so that could solve that problem right there. So one of those deals with covered calls is you want your stocks to go up, but then you turn around and go, wait a minute, now I have to figure out how I'm going to keep my stock. Um, so it's just an interesting deal. SDIV is still in a full position on this. It was up 49 cents. That's a great day for a, a $9.50 stock. And I bought it for $9.95. It's got a great dividend. It is a, a monthly option stock. Um, TNA. TNA, another stock that had an amazing day. Look at that, 18%. Again, I, like I said, these triple weighted uh, index stocks, man, they can really move. And it, this stock was up. Um, 
obviously three fifty three, three dollars fifty three cents um, during open, thirteen cents after hours. My I bought fourteen shares today, and um, I have a, my obviously my uh, average cost is going up. Again, maybe we'll get a pullback on this, and I can continue to uh, fill out. This is probably the next um, the next stock I'm looking to get a full option, a full a full position on. I'm sorry, hundred shares. PUI same one share. It was up uh, 76 today. You can just sell these stocks. All these dividend stocks, recovery mode. Um, they're on sale. They're still on sale. So if you're really looking to get dividend stocks, it's a great time to buy them. Even though they've had the, the upturn in the last three weeks, man, they're still 25, 30% off what they were two months ago. And so, um, so it's a great time to buy. You know, I'm buying as many shares as I can if I can find some extra money here and there. I am buying, I'm buying shares. Um, P, PGF, I just have one share. I don't know if I sold a share or not today, I don't remember. It's up 13 cents. Um, SP, SPHD, this is a great stock. It was up huge today, 5%. Um, $1.62, I just own one share here in my, uh, in my um, Robin Hood, and I own 100 shares of full position in my Charles Schwab account. Uh, PGX, just that one share, was up 13 cents. Um, SREET, I think I had like 8 or 9 shares. No, maybe I had 12. I sold the balance. I just kept one share. I used that money to obviously uh, fill out my full positions. I do that quite often, actually. I like to start building up a position in there. I take all the stocks I have, like 5 or 6 stocks on, and then I take it all and I sell 5 of them and keep one. And then I start building positions that I'm trying to get a full position on that day or that week. Um, MDIV, one share, was at 44 cents. Um, um, DIV, have one share, was up 73 cents. Um, KBWD, have one share, it was up um, looks like almost 6% after hours total. SPYD, have one share, it was up almost 6%. Um, HYLV, um, I have one share, it was up 20 cents. SPFF, I have one share, and it was up 18 cents. Um, RYLD, one share, it was up 53 cents. QYLD, I have one share, and it was up 18 cents. And then I sold out a year, year and a half, I just had one share. I just decided I wasn't going to build a position on that for now. And I'm going to try to get those weekly option stocks. Um, this one I'm still looking to possibly buy a... Uh, look at that, how much that was up today. Daily Financial Bull. Oh my god, that's the bank stocks. Oh my goodness, the thing was up... Oh, total of about... Almost 16.5%. Wow, FAS... It's a dividend stock, 2.273. Not that much. I mean, for a for one of these um, ETFs, not a ton of dividend, but it's not bad dividend. But yeah, this is another stock that's running. Let's see what it's done in the last three months. It's still on sale. This stock's down. Yeah, this might be a stock I'm going to try to build a position on as well. These are all the bank stocks on an ETF. And so, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. You know, I was up roughly, um, I'd say I was up close to 8%. Um, I had around um, 4 4 6 I added a few dollars um, this today. It's not many, like 60 bucks, just so I could get a few positions, a few stocks I was looking to get. And I do that a lot. Like, even when I don't transfer big, big dollars in, I move just little dollars. That's what I love about Robinhood. There's no limits, no nothing. I just do whatever I want. And no one's going to say, well, you're doing that. And there's no holds on my account. They give me my cash right away. And it's a, it's a win-win for me. And so I know there's some there some negatives of Robin Hood, but it really helps me accumulate wealth by the, all the freedom and all the ability to move money. And so that's where I'm at today. And it's a good day. And I had an even better day in my Charles Schwab. So, yeah, I wish I could make um, $7,000 every day, huh? All right, bud. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.